Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I kind of want to go back into serious mode because I kind of feel like I need to. Now, last video I made, I talked, well, prior to the Halo review, I talked a little bit about some things that I've been noticing on Facebook, Twitter, and so it's bothered me for years. Now, in the video, it might seem like I'm calling one particular person out, and I'm not really doing that. Now, there was a post that made me jump to that, but I wasn't completely aiming towards that person. It's a good friend of mine, and I know I probably hurt your feelings by saying that. That was not my intention, because, you know, the thing you would have said kind of hurt me a little bit, and I just kind of call that out because, you know, there's a lot of people doing this. There's basically just posting stuff, calling people, it is breaking them down because they don't share the same political opinion than I do. So, and that's the same with anything on Twitter and Facebook. If you don't believe or think a certain way, you're going to get criticized and dunked on. That's how it is. That's how it is. If you're on the left or if you're right. And I, again, from most of my experience, I've seen a lot of people on the left spew the most hate. And that's true. That is very true. I mean, just spend an hour on Facebook, spend an hour on Twitter. You see a lot of the hateful stuff coming from the left, which is annoying. And again, I consider myself as a centrist. I don't consider myself more on the right than on the left. I'm kind of right in the middle of it. Maybe right-leaning as of late, but not really. Not really. I'm the same person I've always been. Yeah, back in the day, I used to be really liberal, but I'm not that way anymore. There's a lot of things that kind of contribute into changing the way I think. Uh, you can call me a white supremacist or whatever. I know that's going to happen. I know you're thinking... What a piece of shit because I don't think the way you do. That's that's fine too. But let's go ahead and jump away from that and talk about something that's kind of similar in, in scope in terms of what's going on and why it's fucked up. Now, over the weekend in my area, which is about two hours away, Kentucky got hit with a series of storms, produced tornadoes, and caused all kinds of devastation. There was a lots of there was a, some lives lost. A lot of people lost everything they owned due to these storms. Now, in this area around this time, tornadoes and bad storms are pretty commonplace in this area. Now, you can say what you want and say that this was due to climate change, and I honestly don't give a fuck what you think about climate change. Do I believe in climate change? Yes. Am I going to make a point of saying you, you suck because you don't believe in it or go fuck yourself and die because you don't believe it? No, I'm not going to do that. Because I'm not a fucking child. <laughs> Even though I kind of sound like a child. Just, you know. But anyways, a lot of people lost everything they own. A lot of people lost their lives, their livelihoods, and everything. Just one small moment. Pure devastation. You see the pictures coming out of this area. Things are just destroyed. Like, it's awful. Like, these big storms just destroyed everything. And you hear all these horror stories about people that was there during the time of this storm, just living their worst nightmare, seeing these storms tear apart their places, tearing people from their lives. It's pretty damn awful. But for some odd reason, on social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, you have these people that are coming, politicizing these storms and saying people in that area deserved what they needed. They deserved it because Kentucky is ran by Mitch McConnell and Ron Paul. Now, is that fucking fair? I don't think that is. Just because you don't believe or follow those political directions, like you don't follow that, that doesn't mean that person that lost everything deserved it just because they voted for Ron Paul and Mitch McConnell. You know, I know a lot of people are saying that it's climate change, but climate change probably isn't the biggest factor in this. This area has been like this for years, even prior to, you know, the Industrial Revolution. This area is fucked in terms of weather things. It just sucks. Now, normally not this big, and you can say maybe, maybe part of it has to do with climate change. I, like I said, I believe in climate change, but I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong if you don't believe in it. I'm not going to say you need to die. Because you voted for Ron Paul and you don't care about climate change. And that's what these people on Twitter are doing. A lot of these blue check marks. Like I said, I'll try to show some pictures of what I'm talking about. Because it's really fucked up. These people 
They don't have anything anymore. They lost everything right before Christmas. And you can say, well, Christmas don't really matter. A lot of people, Christmas does matter a lot to people. It does. I don't care if you're dunking on it like you are with Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman. That's what they want to do. They don't want to dunk on Christmas. And I'm sure what they will have to say about the people that perished or lost everything they had right before Christmas that happened to vote for Ron Paul or Mitch McConnell deserve what they get. And that's this mindset that a lot of these people are trying to put on this. They're like, well... You know what happened in Kentucky? Uh, yeah, it sucks, but you shouldn't have voted for Mitch McConnell and Ron Paul, you bastards. And that's exactly how it is. That's exact, and it's it's pretty bad. We don't have compassion for people anymore. We don't. The compassion is gone. There's no there's no thing such thing as think before you say things. It's say things gets the clicks, and that's it. A lot of these people are going to say these to get attention to begin with, because, like I said, everything runs on clicks, and if you can say the most fucked up thing and get people talking about it, maybe it'll get picked up on certain media outlets and bigger YouTubers and stuff like the quartering. Uh, see, there's some other ones I'm sure of. I'm not going to divulge in that, because I have no reason to talk about these people. But, yeah, I mean... It's just disgusting how people are. They're so fucking vile. Like, you can't think of your on your own. You no, are no longer allowed to think on your own. You're not. You're, you're just not. Because if you think out of the norm, then fuck you. Go to hell and die or something. That's That's basically the mentality of these people. And I don't understand. And when you have a big platform like Twitter, and you carry that blue check mark, you should be able to talk to your people without making them hateful. Like, yeah, share your opinion. At the end of the day, it's your opinion. But that's no, it's not just opinions now, it's hate. And again, a lot of people blame hate on the red, right? Red, right, red, right. They blame a lot of stuff saying that the right is the most hateful, but seeing stuff on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff, you can tell that's not the case. An overwhelming majority of the people that's causing these problems are on the left. It's true. There's no doubt about it. And like I said, the last video where I called out some of these things, you don't hear me saying to you, oh, we can't be friends because you voted for... Uh, Biden, I'm not going to say that to you. I don't care who you voted for. But one thing I'm not going to do is if somebody, unless they actually fucking deserve it, and I've talked about the people that actually deserve it plenty of times in these videos, I'm not going to tell you to fucking die and things that happened to you was because you voted a certain way is your fault, and you deserved it. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to say that. I don't care. If you think that like that, there's something fucking wrong with you. There is. It's just fucking horrible. And again, I may be circling around the things that I've been talking about in the last videos, but I found it so offensive that these people on the left are saying that these people in Kentucky that lost everything, lost lives lost their well-being, their spirits got yanked from them. That's a bunch of motherfuckery. And it's terrible. And I want to coin that motherfuckery. I'm sure uh, YouTube's going to like that. But anyways, yeah, it just, it really makes me sick just to think that if you share a different in a political opinion, a religious opinion, or anything, actually, this can go for anything. Religion and Politics is the one I'm going to aim close to because that's normally the most toxic places. It's not like, you know, comparing things like the Call of Duty community with the Battlefield community. This is more shit that's, I think, politics and religion is the most toxic things you can get yourself involved with. And you can see the worst in people when it comes to that because ultimately... Everybody has their different opinions on it, but at the end of the day, it's just your fucking opinion, man. 
And if you have a blue check mark and you're trying to cause problems, what's wrong with you? Where's your fucking humanity? Where's it at? And I know if this would happen to one of you guys with this big following, you will try to get as much sympathy as humanly possible. And when somebody comes out of the waterworks and says, hey, you deserved it, you will turn your people against them. That's how you, how it works. You want the sympathy, but you don't want to give the sympathy. You don't. It's It's terrible. And I hate to say that. I hate being negative. Lately, it's just been bugging me just seeing these things. It's it's awful. I hate it. I really hate it. I hate seeing... And maybe I need to unplug from Twitter and Facebook, which I don't post a lot of stuff on Twitter to begin with, but the stuff I see on Twitter, it makes me not want to participate. But I have, you know, platforms like YouTube and Twitch that I want to... You at least share my content out. But again, I'm not going to tell you if something terrible will happen to you. I feel sorry for you. I'm not going to say you deserved it unless you actually fucking deserved it. And you know, again, what kind of people I think deserve shit like that. I don't think if you have a difference of opinion that bad things should happen to you. It's, it's a fucking awful way of thinking. And I hate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.